Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Can You See Me? Cause I'm having a real hard time seeing you. God, it's overcast, but the sun, it is so blinding. And uh, I might look a little familiar depending on, you know, when I post videos or maybe I haven't posted the other one yet. But I just got done opening another set of tins here and uh, I just, I can't help myself. More, more. I want, I want more. <laughs> My, my itch to open cards has not been satisfied and I have cards here that can be opened so why not go ahead and do it. It's my day off. I want to enjoy it. So I have got the new mini tins from the Paldean Fate set. I was able to get my hands on a full art set so very happy about that. I love these mini tins. I just think they're so cute and they each feature, you know, a different shiny Pokemon that you can get from the set. Imagine that. And depending on which one you get, you will get things that match the outside of the tin. So you will get your sticker. This is not the sticker, but you will get this cardboard thing that shows you where the artwork, you know, it all lines up and everything and where this one fits in and then some facts about this Pokemon. Did you know that Flamigo is taller than me? I didn't. Now I do. <laughs> Five foot three, huh? You a big boy. Uh, but then you also get a sticker, which I love that, instead of the coin rattling around in here. But then most importantly, you get Two packs and in the long run it's really the packs that I care about especially if I can pull something good I feel like the Poketubers that I've seen open up these tins have been having some good luck right I'm not completely making that up I might be making that up I don't remember <laughs> Maybe I'm just trying to get myself super jazzed for these. I mean, I do, I would love, I haven't pulled a special illustration rare yet. I would love to pull one from this set. I mean, it's not like I've opened a ton of cards from this set, but like, it'd be nice. That Mew or Charizard especially. I also, as much as I love these stickers, I have such a hard time using stickers in general. Like even if I bought them to be used and whatever else, like I just, I'm scared I'm wasting them. Even though it would make 100% sense to put these on your Paldean Fates binder, yeah? But then my brain is like, oh, what if, what if they get ruined or I put them in a spot that I end up not liking, blah, 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 get over it. I'm so mean to myself sometimes, but yeah, I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to ease up and put these stickers on my binder, we'll see. But all right, these tins though, I'm gonna go in the order that the artwork goes in because like I said it does all connect the artworks not that it really matters because these cards they're too big to fit in a normal binder slot so like also frustrating if they would just make them a little shorter I guess I could cut it to fit but then it kind of I don't know you know I don't want to cut it up at least not those I don't know anyone else I'll just keep mine in a baggie inside of a tin <laughs> but let's see my friends we have 10 packs here we have 10 shots to pull that shiny Mew I mean that would be my biggest hope and dream and love and happiness. But I mean, even something like the baby shiny Paldean Wooper, the Tanda Mouse, I mean, there's a lot of cutie patooties. The small live, like, there's a lot that I don't have, haven't pulled. So if I can just pull, I mean, if I could pull five shinies, <laughs> like one from each tin, I think that would be asking a lot, but oh my God, I guess we're off to a good start. Is it one that I don't already have? All right, this was not the shiny Mew I was talking about. I was talking about the special illustration rare. However, I will take this happily, gladly, no problems. Oh my goodness, Mew, you look great. <laughs> I mean, I do, I guess I technically prefer your pink form, but like your shiny blue form is also pretty fabulous. So um, you look great happy to have you here so so happy now let's see i mean is it possible would the secret illustration rare or special illustration rare be in this slot or would it be in the next one or the next one i don't know because i haven't pulled one <laughs> so let's see can you imagine no okay but look at that double banger i do have this card of plenty however i will take it or another one i mean it's a hit at the end of the day and then a professor's research okay so yeah, I'm gonna assume that that's where that special illustration rare would be. So technically I could have pulled that shiny Mew, that full art shiny Mew, and then the special illustration rare Mew. Can you imagine? I mean, what a freaking pack. I mean, what a freaking tin this would be if this pack has that special illustration rare Mew or any of the special illustration rares in it or one of the gold cards that I don't already have. I mean, that would be a good tin. So let's see if we can do it, my friends. I mean, anything is possible. So let's see behind this primape. Nope, we've got a Woobat. We have got 
Nope, Paul Day and Whooper. And then a Houndstone. Okay, that's just fine. We still got a hit. So on to the Flamigo. I kind of, I think I like your shiny form better, honestly. Although my feathers are still a little ruffled knowing that you are an inch taller than me. <laughs> It always surprises me when Pokemon like that are taller than me, but then there's certain Pokemon. Like I'm pretty sure like Rhyhorn or something, or Rhydon I think I'm thinking of, right? I feel like in the show he was shorter than Giovanni. Maybe he wasn't, I don't know. But I feel like there are some like big heavy set Pokemon that are like kind of short <laughs> and would be shorter than me in real life. But either way, I do think it's fun to see that kind of information. Cause wasn't that, I feel like a long time ago I had opened a pack that had like a Suicune and a Slowking or something in it. And they both weigh like the same amount and it's like 500 pounds or something crazy. And Slowking, yeah, I think that's one of the ones that surprised me. I think he's taller than me, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, Dawn Fan. Clive, that's not the Clive I wanted. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so apparently these Paldean student cards are really easy to pull, and uh, I'm gonna say yeah, because I've pulled one in every single freaking opening I've done of this. <laughs> Can I just have a full art that I don't already have, please? Please? <sighs> I guess I have to be grateful. I got a hit. I just hope that I can get a different hit that I don't already have out of this pack. That would be nice. I know, it's asking a lot, but I just, you gotta ask for what you want, or else, you know? It, at least you can say you asked for it. No regrets in that sense. All right, Iono, is your card gonna be in here? Let's find out behind this Griever. Nope, I bet. Nope, okay, oh, we have something. <laughs> I don't remember if I pulled this one from this set yet. I've pulled it from the original set that it came from. God, it's looking really dull the shine on this but uh i don't know that i've pulled it for paldean fades yet so i guess i guess i'll take it and we did get two packs with two hits so i shouldn't complain there uh next we have got the mouse hold very hard to see the difference however they're little sweaters and pants i mean i don't think those are sweaters and pants but you know the, the print on them different color different shade of grayish <laughs> if you will uh but let's see let's see if we can pull the Tanda Mouse or the Mouse Hold from the Mouse Hold Tin. That'd be kind of fun. But also Pikachu. I would love to pull you, <laughs> your baby shiny. It is so cute. And I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive out of all the baby shinies. So would be nice if I didn't have to buy that one as a single, but we won't know until we try. Let's see. Nope, that is our reverse. And then behind that, oof, we've got a Mime Junior. Okay. <laughs> I have pulled this one before. I thought it was gonna be that Squawkabilly again, but uh, we did get the Fortress EX Terra. Okay, that is a hit. I will take it. Like I said, I have pulled it, but that's okay. We will take it. I actually don't know that I've pulled it from the set that it was originally from. I might have pulled it once. I don't remember. These things all tend to blend together, especially once we start doing reprints like this. You know what I mean? So let's see. We're about halfway done here, my friends. Let's see if we can, you know, we're starting with a Charmander. Are you going to evolve? Yeah. Are we also going to get Charmeleon and then the Charizard special illustration rare? Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be insane and wonderful. I would accept. <laughs> Let's see, behind this Lechonk. Nope, a Ralts. And a Mimikyu Hollow. Okay, so that officially is the worst tin we've opened so far. So, Tinka Tink. It looks like your only change for shiny form is your mallet and your little diamond on your chest. I'm just kind of now seeing the resemblance to a troll doll with the hair, the gem. Interesting. Surely someone else has made that connection too, right? <laughs> Tinka Troll. All right, that pack was a little hard to open. A Pikachu on a Pikachu pack, and then there's gonna be a baby shiny Pikachu as well. What? Oh my God, that's so exciting. Tell me more, let me see. I'm so exciting. <laughs> It would be really nice. So let's see, behind Atticus, maybe? Nope, I got greedy. Fido. Oh, nice! I thought it was gonna be another fortress. I haven't pulled this one yet. We have got Lady Gaga! All right, Espathra. Espathra? Nope, okay, anywho. 
It's a new one. I'll take it. We've got the terraform, so it's a little textured. All right. Very nice. We take a hit, especially a hit that I don't already have. We love to see it. All right. Tatsugiri, I would still love to get your little baby shiny as well. Let's see what we can do in this one. I don't think, does Dedene come as a baby shiny in this one? I don't think so. Has There's been a baby Dedene shiny in the past though, hasn't there? I don't remember. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many, it's hard to keep track. All right, let's see what we've got behind Iono here. I don't think, yeah. So we got a Gengar. We've got a Chimeco. Ah, and an armor rouge. Okay, so looks like we just got a tie for last place. <laughs> oh, my voice. <laughs> Where'd you go? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna end on Finizen here. Very cute. I like your shiny form. It's a beautiful blue. Let's see if we were saving the best for last. Any of those special illustration wares. I won't be picky. Like I said, obviously I want the Mew the most. I shouldn't say obviously, but I do want the Mew the most out of all the special illustration wares, but I really, I will not be picky. Seriously. <laughs> any of the special illustration rares. I haven't pulled them. So like if I could pull one of them, that would be absolutely phenomenal. It just would be. <laughs> so let's see if we can do it here in this final tin. We've got a rare candy. We've got a gimme ghoul. And an iron treads. Okay. I, as far as I know, I have not pulled this one. So again, I will take it. I will. I will take that. So, very nice, but let's see. Maybe we are saving the absolute best for last here in this Pikachu pack. Can we do it? Can we get something good, my friends? I sure do hope so. Yes, I do. All right, vroom, 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 vroom. That was us starting our engine to get a really good pull. Yeah, yeah, are you feeling it? <laughs> Don't know that I am, but even if it's just a baby shiny, Baby shiny, come on. One that I don't already have, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I asked for it. It's a baby shiny that I don't have. Valooza, all right. I do not consider you a loser, not today. You're a little, you're a little chipped up there in your shiny spot, but uh, that's okay. I will happily accept you and welcome you to the binder. Now behind you, <sighs> nope. And then behind this, nope. <laughs> I was about to say, ooh, we got a rare. Yeah, Cassie. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, who's ready for a recap? I mean, listen, not the greatest, okay? But we did only have 10 packs. So, and I will let you know the order of these. It's kind of in terms of a hierarchy of, you know, rarity, like I try to do, but this one is also slightly biased. <laughs> I'll just let you know that. Uh, so we have Mousehold. You came in last place. I'm sorry, my friend. But you only pulled us an EX. A Terra, though, so that's good. But that's all you pulled us. And, uh, you know, Tinka Tink did the same. However, you pulled one that I have not already pulled. So, like, you win. <laughs> in terms of that. Otherwise, you really should have been tied for last place. But it's my hierarchy, okay? Uh, then we go into the Flamigo. You did a little bit better. You got us a Squawkabilly EX. And you got us a full art. Okay, okay. And just in the long run, you got us a full art. I will take it. <laughs> and then Finizen, you got second place. Congrats, my dude. Uh, you pulled us this Iron Treads that I have not pulled before. At least I don't think so. And then our one Baby Shiny out of 10 packs. That's not great, <laughs> I don't think. But either way, we did get a baby shiny and it's one that I don't already have, so very happy about that. And then Smoliv, my favorite of the tins. I just love little Smoliv. And uh, I love Smoliv's shiny form, little black olive on you. I, just, I used to put black olives on my fingers, so like the thought of having my fingers in five Smoliv's heads, just, okay. Anywho, uh, you got first place. Well done. You got us an illustration rare. Very cute. I wish it was the Wug Trio. Still haven't pulled the Wug Trio. <laughs> but the biggest hit of the day and one that I am just real happy about, we got the shiny Mew EX. Yeah, yeah, I can't be sad about that. I hope I can pull your special illustration rare form someday. However, for now, 
this is what we got. I'm very happy about it. So yeah, there you have it, my friends. There was the mini tin opening for this set of cards, Paldean Fates. All right, binder is decorated. Ooh, Cassie took the plunge and cut up her little stickers from the mini tins. Yes, indeed. And speaking of the mini tins, I do believe we have some hits from the mini tins that we can add in here. So let's go ahead and do that. To begin, we can add this Fortress EX as a friend behind the first one we pulled. We get to add in the Espothra EX. In you go. Now we're just missing one for this first page of the binder. Feels pretty good. Now let's see. Armor Rouge is bulk. Mimic U is bulk. Hey, do no. Cerulege is new. Yay for Hollow actually being newness. Congrats. Houndstone, you get a friend. Enjoy friendship in the afterlife. Iron Treads, you are newness. Welcome. Boop. Same thing with Squawkabilly EX. Newness. Exciting. Congrats to me and you. Yeah, let's, let's share the love. The professor gets to be friends with herself enjoy maybe discuss parenting with each other and you know how you can do better in the future we get to add in a baby shiny to these two very blank pages blank in terms of cards anyways the sticky notes are abundant but we are one closer to completion huzzah unfortunately no more newness for any of these baby pages but ah we get to add in this beautiful shiny mew ex love it so happy Shiny Palmy is bulk. The Violet Paldean students are bulk. Now into the reverses. We are starting off with bulk. Chimeco gets a friend. Lovely. My junior is bulk. Woobat, you're new. I'll take that. Welcome. Fido, you get a friend. Grievert is new. Welcome. As is little Gimme Ghoul. Welcome to the party. Little Fampy is also new. Welcome, cutie. And Don Fan. You get a friend. Gengar, you also get a friend. Haldean Wooper, friendship. Mastiff, Bulk. Noibat, cutie, you are new. Welcome. Lechonk, you get a friend. Clive, you get to be friends with yourself. Haldean students, enjoy friendship with yourself in case you don't get along with each other. And Rare Candy, what's better than one candy? <laughs> Two? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. So, not the most amount of newness, but we were able to make some additions. I'll take it. So I think the only product I haven't opened now are the collection boxes. I can't remember if there were any other Paldean Fates products after that, though. <sighs> I really, I don't. I don't remember. So, um, am I, it's still early in the day. Am I going to film it today? I might. <laughs> But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun for you. Um, please certainly let me know what are you hunting for from Paldean Fates? How do you think I did with the tins? Um, just in general, you know, just let me know things. I love hearing from you down below. You can also let me know how you're doing just in general or if you liked the video by giving it a thumbs up. Down below. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.